right. A breakfast extra value meal at McDonald's. Mike Nolan, KFI in the sky. KFI News Time is 7.01. Here's what's happening in the Southland right now. Massive layoffs are expected this week in bankrupt Orange County. We go live to KFI's Jay Lawrence. He says tomorrow is the deadline for county government departments to make their cuts. Ken, last week, 78 county workers received pink slips. This week, it's estimated close to 200 will be given their walking papers. Tomorrow, county department heads are supposed to brief supervisors on where the cuts are being made. Toby Lovelace is with the County Employees Union. Every day, it's, uh, it seems to be the county is putting nails in the coffin to the employees, and uh, we absolutely think they're acting out of... Uh, panic and chaos, and there seems to be no rhyme to the reason. In other developments, it appears school districts will not get 100% of their money they invested in the pool. It's estimated the loss is around $250 million. Live in Orange County, Jay Lawrence, KFI News. Jurors in the O.J. Simpson case will be getting some bad news in court today. Let's go live to KFI's Michael Clark. He says Judge Lance Ito is going to inform them that they will be sequestered. O.J. Simpson's defense team only recently decided to go along with sequestering the jury now that they're concerned that jurors might be exposed to publicity of Simpson's alleged domestic violence problems. A hearing is supposed to start Wednesday on that very subject, but could be delayed because of an upcoming book released by O.J. Simpson. The book's titled, I Want to Tell You, and what he wants to tell you is that he didn't kill Ron Goldman and Nicole Simpson. Law Professor Erwin Chemerinsky says prosecutors may want to get their hands on that book. There's certainly a chance that the prosecutors could subpoena the manuscript. The prosecutors may even want to try to obtain a copy before the hearing this Wednesday on domestic violence to see if there's anything that's said within that they can use as an argument as to why the evidence on domestic violence should be admissible. Chemerinsky thinks Simpson probably wrote the book to cover legal fees. Reporting live, Michael Clark, KFI News. And jury selection begins, is already started in New York in the terror conspiracy trial of a radical Muslim cleric and seven followers this morning. Correspondent Warren Levinson says they are accused of planning to set off bombs at the U.N. and other New York landmarks. The government charges the 12 men with plotting a campaign of terror that would make the World Trade Center bombing look like just the beginning. The prosecution says the plot took its inspiration from the fiery anti-secular sermons of Sheikh Omar Abdel Rahman. The charge the Sheikh's lawyer, Lynn Stewart, roundly denies. He never, ever, and I really will challenge the government to show where the Sheikh ever talked about committing any acts against the United States government or against... Uh, property located in the United States. Stewart says she hopes to put Abdel Rahman on the witness stand in the trial, which is expected to last about nine months. The defendants are accused under a little-used statute charging them with seditious conspiracy. Warren Levinson, New York. The congressional leadership is hoping to keep the momentum going following the fast start of their new session. KFI's Jamie Dupree has the latest on that from our Washington Bureau. Republican leaders hope to quickly send the first bill of this new Congress to the White House, while at the same time speeding up committee work on a variety of budget issues. Southland Republican Christopher Cox. In ways that uh, we have not seen in 40 years, uh, the new management in Congress will be able to set the agenda when it comes to government spending. All that gets going this week with hearings on a balanced budget amendment, tax cut plans, and of course spending reductions, all part of the Republican contract with America. In Washington, Jamie Dupree, KFI News. And the news brought to you by the Southern California Chrysler dealers, KFI News Time 704. Sports now, here's Rich Morata. Well, one of the most thrilling days in Charger history in San Diego yesterday edged the Miami Dolphins 22 to 21. A heart-stopping finish. The Chargers scoring with 35 seconds to go. And then Pete Stojanovic of Miami missing a 48-yard field goal attempt with one second to play. They could have given Miami the victory. The winning touchdown, though, a Humphreys to Mark Say pass of eight yards, uh, culminating the drive that saw the Chargers score with just 35 seconds to play. We knew we had to drive, but everybody was talking, this is it. we got to get a drive going, and that's about it. It'd be more than one person talking in that huddle. Everybody know what time it is, and it was crutch-up time, and everybody had to make a play. And it was Say who made the play in the late going. I must say that uh, I really felt this was one of the worst officiated ball games that I've ever seen. The officials constantly missing calls, or um, I was just, uh, not only missing calls, but making wrong calls. It was disgusting at this point of the season to see officiating as bad as it is now in the National Football League. The league, as great as it is, has got to do something about its officials. That was really atrocious yesterday. Dallas Cowboys beat the Green Bay Packers 35-9. to Troy Aikman, a fabulous day, 23 of 30. Passes complete, 337 yards, a Dallas playoff record. 
Now the big question, can Emmett Smith play next week against the San Francisco 49ers? Smith re-injured his hamstring yesterday. Cowboy trainer Kevin O'Neill says he'll check today for swelling, but adds there's no question that Emmett won't be well by next Sunday. We'll have Southland Weather next. I'm Rich Morata, KFI Sports, KFI News Time, 7.05. It's Southern California Chrysler Plymouth and the way we get around. And the way we get around is to introduce a whole new level of automobile. Introducing Chrysler Cirrus, Motor Trend's 1995 car of the year. It's not just a sports car. It's not just a luxury car or family car. In fact, Chrysler Cirrus is all free. You'll like how its 24-valve V6 summons a stimulating 164 horses. Nice sensation for passing. While its cab-forward design serves up a roomy five-passenger interior. Nice because living in Southern California, we love space. There's also another part of the Southern California way, knowing when to get a great deal. Give you a hint, it's now. For Chrysler Cirrus, a special Southern California allocation has just arrived, so selection couldn't be better. And Chrysler Cirrus starts under 18-1. With great year-end specials, it's the best time to buy. Chrysler Cirrus, it's not just a step above, it's the new plateau. And this special allocation, it's not going to last. Southern California Chrysler Plymouth, it's the way we get around. Buy or lease now. MSRP example minus tax. Prices vary. In the Far East, business is done at two speeds. Very slow and very, very fast. The groundwork is done slowly. Friendships and negotiations take time. At the same time, sudden opportunities often require quick decisions and fast action. Delta Airlines can give you the advantage of both speeds. On our non-stops to Tokyo or Hong Kong, you'll enjoy thoughtful, attentive service, Dinners to linger over, cabins designed to let you slow down and rest. And when you return and you're in a hurry to get home, the fastest way through LAX is through Delta's exclusive customs facility in Terminal 5. Next time, fly Delta nonstop to Tokyo or Hong Kong and see how fast you find you have a new favorite airline. Delta Airlines. When bad weather is the news, turn to the talk station with live reports from the scene of flooding, sandbags, and mudslides. News you can use. KFI AM 640, more stimulating talk radio. KFI News Time is 7.08. Southern California weather. A scattered light rain today. Highs in the mid-60s. We'll have more rain heavy at times tonight with 25 mile an hour winds and uh, heavy rain at times tomorrow with cooler temperatures in the upper 50s on Tuesday. Right now, it's 58 degrees with the rain shower in the past hour in Encino, 56 in Irvine, and 59 degrees here in Los Angeles. More news in minutes. Back to Bill Handel at 7.08. I'm Ken Gallagher, KFI News. I've been in trouble since I don't know when I'm in trouble now And I know somehow I'll find trouble again I'm just a dirty white boy 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 709 KFI AM 640 More stimulating talk radio Bill Handel This is the only place where you get to tell it like it is Every single morning from 5 to 9 a.m., Monday through Friday. Saturday, it's Handle on the Law from 7 to 9 a.m., where I give you marginal legal advice and tell you you have absolutely no case. O.J. Simpson. It was re- Yeah. It has been revealed. It was released. The news came out over the weekend uh, that O.J. has written a book. While he was sitting there, lo, these many hours in jail, he wrote a book in which he declares he did not kill his ex-wife. Well, there's a surprise, and it's scheduled to, be, scheduled to be published next month. The book is, I Want to Tell You. I Want to Tell You. Sounds like that old Beatles song, doesn't it? Uh, is Simpson's response to more than the 300,000 pieces of mail uh, he has received, or so is charged. He's received since he was charged with murder in June, according to Lawrence Schiller, who uh, collaborated with Simpson on the project. Uh, one of the first things that O.J. said to me, Schiller said, uh, was, hey, that's not my biography, this is simply my response to the public's response to me, to my pain, to my suffering. So, uh, what they ended up doing is they figured out, let's, let's do a book. And that's how O.J. will respond to these allegations of, uh, of uh, wife abuse, 
marital strife. And uh, I'll be able to do this because he certainly can't answer 300,000 pieces of mail because he has to pay for the mail. Uh, he has to pay for the, for the stamps. This way he gets to write a book. If you want to know what O.J. has to think, go out and buy your book. Uh, and the book is being published by uh, Little Brown and Company, which is a, a major, major publication company, uh, major publishers. And it's um, initial press of 500,000 copies. Woo-wee. It's going to make, let me tell you, if this is true, if they think that 500,000 copies are going to sell, this will start on the New York bestseller list, uh, O.J.'s book. Nobody, by the way, involved in the book would discuss how much Simpson was paid, because you can bet he was paid a bundle for this book. On the other hand, they're all claiming that uh, every dime he's going to receive uh, is going to his defense fund. I can believe that. Uh, what with Johnny Cochran and F. Lee Bailey and Alan Dershowitz and uh, the infamous, the only uh, Bob Shapiro. And these are guys that get five, six, seven hundred dollars an hour. And that adds up pretty quickly when you're talking about four or five lawyers talking. I mean, when you're on an hourly with lawyers like that, man, does that uh, end up, does that end up costing you some money? Kardashian, uh, you know, old OJ's friend, uh, Robert Kardashian, actually brought Simpson and Schiller together. Uh, says that Simpson receives two to 3,000 pieces of mail every day from people all over the world, including children, who enclose their allowances in an effort to help him. Little kids put in their allowance money to help O.J. to pay for his defense fund. Oh, my God, that is so moving. These little rug rat idiots are sending in their allowance money for O.J.'s defense. You know what? All you little kids, you're stupid. You're real dumb to do that. Now, keep in mind, the California just passed a law. Remember that it says that a, that, a, that a convicted felon can't benefit from the crime he committed in any publicity or any book or movie or anything that comes out of that. However, that wouldn't take, that wouldn't take effect until after the conviction. So, therefore... O.J. is free to sell his book because he's not a convicted felon. He is free to get the money, and I guess the moment that he is convicted, at that point, the cutoff point starts, and you can bet that the lawyers are going to start defining when that is. Uh, the money then goes to, uh, in the, according to law, to the victim's uh, restitution fund, to the, uh, victim's, uh, uh, the, the victim's fund that the state of California has, uh, and whatever the, the court says. Now, that's going to be kind of wild because, of course, uh, a lot of the money is paid on a royalty basis, which means an accounting is made and it comes in months later. So they're going to argue, wait a second, this money was earned, the, the sale of this book was made before the conviction, therefore I got to, can you imagine what a legal battle that's going to be with this book? But what I want to talk about this hour is your opinion of this book. Would you buy this book? Would you buy a book in which O.J. says, um, I did not kill my ex-wife? And you know it's going to go for nineteen ninety five or twenty four ninety five or whatever the hell it's going to go for. And what's your opi opinion of O.J. doing this? Only in America. This is astounding. In America is where now the more the more grotesque the crime, the more high profile the criminal or the crime is, the more apt there is to be a movie or a book or a television movie made out of it, and big time money flows. And I can't think of any other country where criminals and criminal acts literally become the flavor of the week in terms of the media hype. I want your opinion on this book of O.J. Simpson. I find that, well, you can't obviously stop a guy from writing a book in prison, but, well, here's the bottom line. You going to buy the book? If you see a book out there for nineteen ninety five or fourteen ninety five, or whatever the hell he's going to charge you for it, are you going to buy the book for O.J. knowing it's going to go for his defense fund? I wouldn't. I won't even get it for free. I mean, I will get it for free if I want it, but I won't even get it for free. I don't even want the publisher to send a copy of that book. I'm not interested in what O.J. says. I am not interested in his denial that he did it. I'm not interested in his book. I want to tell you. I really am not. I am interested in what happens in trial. I'm interested during the course of the case, what ends up happening. I think that O.J. Simpson is going to write a self-serving book in which he's going to deny everything. I'll bet he's going to deny that uh, he ever abused his wife. I'll bet he's going to deny that he did everything wrong. I'll bet you in the book, I'll bet you dollars to donuts, that this man is going to deny anything. And he's simply the victim of this incredibly complicated, horrific conspiracy against him. 
and we'll find out what racial bias it goes to, whether in fact it's, uh, he alleges that because he is black and there's this huge conspiracy against white America, against blacks, or he's just the unluckiest guy in the world that he happened to have an ex-wife and a friend killed and they had nowhere else to go. They had nowhere else to go and therefore they chose him. I have no idea what is going to happen. But I'll tell you one thing. I'm not buying the book and I want to know if you are going to. The numbers are 1-800-767-4KFI toll free. 5201KFI if you are calling in LA. That's in the 213-818-310 area code. 1-800-767-4KFI in the discernible universe. Anywhere you can hear this broadcast. Toll free, 5201-KFI, if you're calling in L.A. County. Are you going to buy the book? Yes or no? Debbie, Rancho Cucamonga, you're on KFI. No, I won't buy the book. Number one, I think that the lawyers have probably edited it and taken everything out that might be incriminating. And I think it's ludicrous that he can write a book and sell it about what's happening. It, you, before the trial. Right. That's, it is, you, can you imagine what kind of pap it's going to be it's going to be you're right it's going to be so sanitized it's going to be so one-sided it's going to be so self-serving i mean what a way he just as easy to just say nope i didn't do it i'm done thank you very much i just don't understand why people would buy it why they would help this guy let him prove himself innocent first well he doesn't have to they have to prove him guilty that's a very good point debbie thanks for calling kfi and debbie brings up the point why would anybody want to buy it that's precisely the question why would anyone why would anybody want to buy O.J. Simpson's book, I Want to Tell You, in which he claims his innocence and says, I didn't do any of that. Where are the white women at? He doesn't say that in the book. He impliedly says that because we know O.J.'s history, don't we? But that's not what he says. 1-800-767-4KFI toll free. 5201-KFI if you're calling in L.A. Ken Gallagher in the KFI News Center. What's going on? All right. Thank you, Bill. Senate Majority Leader Bob Dole says he's ready to start cracking the whip to get things moving in the upper house of Congress. Dole wants to have a vote soon on legislation that would make Congress live under the same laws that approves for businesses. That legislation passed unanimously in the House last week. And he says he wants a vote in the Senate soon on a measure that would bar Congress from inflicting programs on the states without providing the funding to pay for them. Here in the Southland, a woman killed by a freight train overnight in a tunnel near Chatsworth Park uh, apparently committed suicide. Paramedics were sent to the tunnel about 4.45 in the morning. The 30-year-old woman died at the scene. Her name withheld until uh, pen, uh, till they can notify relatives. 7.18 our time. More news in minutes. I'm Ken Gallagher in the KFI News Center. Good morning. I'm Mike Nolan. KFI in the sky. It's easing up a little bit in Corona. You'll slow just past Maple Street now, approaching Surface Club. Off and on busy into the Santana Canyon. Busy again on the 91 westbound around the bend past Tustin and crossing the 57th. Some heavy traffic westbound on the 91. Westbound Garden Grove Freeway approaching the San Diego Freeway report of an accident and then busy ahead northbound 405 up beyond the 605 Pacific Coast Highway southbound between 5th Street and Warner report of an injury accident in Orange County southbound PCH between 5th Street and Warner we have normal delays Costa Mesa Freeway southbound from Catella down beyond the 22 and in the valley becoming heavier on the Hollywood southbound approaching the Ventura Freeway stop by McDonald's and get hash browns small coffee and a breakfast sandwich for just $1.99 that's right, a breakfast extra value meal at McDonald's. Mike Nolan, KFI in the sky. What good are lower prices if they're on items you seldom buy? That's why at Rouse, we've lowered prices on the things you need every day. We call these items GLPs, and they're part of our store-wide guaranteed low price program. And we're so sure of our GLPs, we even print our competitors' prices right on the shelves. After all, the only way to save the most is with lower prices on items people buy the most. And get even more great savings this week, like value packs of Rouse California Beef USDA Select Porterhouse and T-Bone Steaks. They're just $3.19 a pound. Premium russet potatoes are only $0.39 cents a pound. And stock up during Ralph's Buy One, Get One Free Sale, featuring items like Weight Watchers Frozen Entrees, 12-ounce cans of Dole Frozen Juices, and Pop Secret Microwave Popcorn. Price is good through January 11th. Details at Ralph's. You can go to a lot of places for a dental plan. But given all the possibilities, more companies go to Delta Dental than any other place. In California, one person in every three has a Delta Dental plan. That's 10 million people. And they're not all alike. You're different. Nobody else. But 
Delta Dental has all kinds of plans for all kinds of people, all kinds of companies. Dental HMOs, PPOs, traditional plans, even a special small business plan for companies with as few as two. Delta Dental. We have a plan to keep you smiling. At this year's Cadillac exhibit at the L.A. Auto Show, you'll see a higher standard of automotive luxury and performance technology on display January 7th through 15th at the L.A. Convention Center. Cadillac continues to create a higher standard in 1995 with Seville STS and Eldorado Touring Coupe. Automobiles offering agile handling, control, and the unrivaled 300 horsepower North Star system, the most powerful engine in its class. The new DeVille offers the safety of the airbag system, while DeVille Concours combines the state-of-the-art performance of the North Star system with Cadillac's renowned luxury, creating a full-size automobile in a class by itself. You'll also find the added security of traction control, a safety feature now found on every new Cadillac, even on America's roomiest automobile, the V8 powered Fleetwood. And while you're at the Cadillac exhibit, stop by the GM card display for your chance to win a new Cadillac. It's just another reason to discover how Cadillac is creating a higher standard.